Hey guys, I'm Austin. Welcome back to Bomb Chew. Today we're doing the first episode of a new show called Clearing the Vault. I have a lot of games on Steam. I have 1,833 games, and I refuse to just let those all go to waste just sitting there doing nothing. I've made it a good chunk through my library. I still have 719 games installed, and uh, you know, Sometimes I just do stupid things like buy a bundle of 46 games for a dollar, which somehow none of those games were games that I owned. Out of a library this big, that's just impressive. But also a good sign that uh, these were probably unknown for a good reason. And they were. <laughs> we better get started. I think we'll just take it in alphabetical order, starting with one dollar ride, which Yep, it cost me a dollar to take this ride. So instantly in with the music. Uh, okay, solid options. Um, I guess let's just get to it. Uh, I hate these screens. They go, here's a bunch of objects you've never seen. And here's what they do in the gameplay that you don't know what... Uh, mm, it makes me mad. Let's just go. Uh, I can only pick this one. All right. <laughs> Solid run. Okay. Let's, maybe I should actually look at this. So we want to get speed ups. I guess if you slow down too much, then you're just gone. We want to get points and health. And we get bullets at some point. Okay, here we go. And I'm dead. This game is great. Next up is Ampersand. Uh... <laughs> no, no options, no nothing. Okay, let's just go ahead. Yep. Okay. Um how do we go? How do we go? Come on. <laughs> X. X is go. What is the break? Z I guess is break probably. Is that how I drift? Oh, that's use item. It reminds me of Wipeout. If Wipeout were really not polished. I, I wish I could convey how slippery these controls are. Or how floaty, like... Mm. Like even... Mm, sweet. Sweet hit. We'll try one more race. See, now that I know how to go from the start, we'll see how I do. Uh, I'd, I'd really just rather play Wipeout or Fast RMX or something like that. F-Zero, anything. Oh, I just dropped a bunch of mines behind me. I'll probably hit those on my way back. Oh, I hit someone else's mines. Look at my health. I may actually die here. Yep. Tap to continue. This is a mobile phone game? Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is awful. This is so bad. What happened? Uh, calculate. Okay. I gotta read the description on this one. Let's... Uh, calculate is a story about a boy named James that needs to participate in a godly Olympics tournament as a representative for the goddess of mathematics. The tournament will grant the participant a wish they had stated before the tournament starts. What?
Is sleep like leave? Of course it is. Of course it is. Space. Okay, we'll do space, arrows, alt, and, oh, yeah, the two, to toggle full screen. <laughs> to close the game, you press alt F4. Because they were too busy to program a way to actually close the game, except when you're in the main menu and you choose sleep. Okay. It's retelling me the controls. Uh-huh. We are... You know what? I'm pretty good at math. I think. It's been a while since I've done, like, calculus stuff. We're gonna pick expert. Oh, I want to skip the prologue, but at the same time... Like, we gotta dive in for the whole thing. If it's their last lesson, wouldn't he see them at finals? Well, if you push in more than one direction, you just stop in place. That's a good start. Oh, I already pushed that into a wall. Sweet. Can I restart this? No, I pushed it into a wall. <laughs> Come on. If the sum of every four blocks with the same color according to all pattern provided below is 34, a path will be opened. Okay, I underestimated expert mode. <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> Okay, um, we, we're gonna start over. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do normal mode, cause, oh no, hey, let's not, let's not go there. Come on, you don't have to tell me everything again. Let's try normal. Yeah, we'll skip the prologue. We don't need to do that again. It's not a gravestone this time? If you can find the truth from the beginning to the end, shout it loudly with your heart. Okay, I'll give it this. <laughs> Having a different difficulty, like, significantly changes the game. This is a... This is a different environment, a different puzzle. This is... That's interesting. Seven days. So I guess that's nine, seven, three over there. Okay, this is easier. Four, two, four, two, eight, nine, seven, three. So here I had to unlock my puzzle pieces? Okay. I'm 
<laughs> uh, well, that, I, I don't know why I wouldn't have had to do that kind of puzzle on expert mode. But oh well. Oh, you know what I forgot to be doing? Deleting these games along the way. Gone. You're gone. See ya. Okay, Catch a Falling Star. My wife played this game at some point before I knew what it was. This one actually has very positive reviews. Um, if I remember right, it's pretty simple. I think all you do is just kind of go left and right with a basket and catch stars. Catch a falling star. You get it? Uh, here we go. I've got three hearts. I don't know what this flag is. I think if we ever let a star drop, then we get in trouble and lose a heart. I'll just go ahead and deposit, why not? No bonus for me. I guess I need to be full to get a bonus. Oh, I would like it if this were a little bit faster. This is a little too slow for me. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm coming at this with, from the perspective of someone who plays a lot of games. This is probably geared towards people who don't play games a whole lot, just looking for something kind of cute to play. This is a relaxing game. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think I can play this for much longer. This is kind of mind-numbing. Um, I'll... Mm, I'll try to get an, enough coins to unlock something and try that, and then I think we'll call it quits here. No... Oh, if I bonk it... Then I don't lose. What? What? What's happening? Am I having a stroke? Uh, okay. I. Let's 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 go to the menu. Yep. Please tell me I have to keep my coins. All right. Uh, uh, let's... Clergy explode. I had to look at this one before we started this video, just on the Steam page, because the name, the name had me just, it's exactly what you think it is. It's, you're, you're a member of the clergy, you're a priest, and you throw bombs at stuff, and that's, that's the game. Okay, well, that's gone. Um, press X to throw. Alright, I killed that guy, I guess. Oh, I have to pick up my bombs. Okay. What do the numbers on my bombs mean? Is that how much damage they do? Oh, and this music. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Look at this guy. He's just staring at me in the middle of the screen. Just going... I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. Oh, God. Ow, that hurt me. Okay, these are... That's a countdown. So if I drop the bomb, I can just leave it in a spot. Why, why would I want to do that? Why would I want such wildly differing amounts? And the fact that I can't face a direction means I can't stand still or walk away from someone and throw a bomb at them. 
Okay. I guess we'll try to complete all the uh, missions here. Uh, so I need to kill one more green guy and pick up five bones. Except I don't have to collect all the bones. I guess you only have to complete four objectives. Um, it's not... Like, this isn't horrible, it's just unpolished. Well, that didn't... I didn't want to... You have to... It says press X to collect, but you have to push your way into it while you're pushing X. Why are there bombs everywhere? Why does the clergy get access to these? Oh, there goes... Okay. Mm. That's not bad. A lot of these probably just need some polish. I mean, the idea is kind of stupid, but... The gameplay idea is not for something really simple. Oh, 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 no. Oh. So a lot of people coming at me. I killed myself. Did, did I just get dragged down to hell? That was dark as shit. <laughs> oh man, there. Oh, just back to the menu straight up. Uh, I can try that one again. Like, I kind of want to see if there's a boss or something. But at the same time, I also feel like I'm going to have to go through nine levels to get to that point. And I don't know if this game is interesting enough for that. I just keep throwing them a little too close to myself. See ya. Got him. Uh, eight more of these guys? Yeah, I think I'm probably going to quit after this level. I don't know if I can tolerate this much longer. Alright, well we got more games to get to. Let's, uh... I think we could do one more for today. Cosmic Dust and Rust. Let's, uh, let's, it's a tower defense game in space. This, it looks, the idea sounds interesting. The reviews have me uh, feeling like the execution probably is off, but we'll, we'll see. We gotta give it a shot.
let's get that full screen. That, okay, so full screen, we now have these, <laughs> it's just black area. <laughs> okay. Um, so click in windowed mode makes it full screen and click in full screen makes it go windowed. I think they just toggle whatever is currently on whenever you click one. Smart design. Now and then we had hope that if we lived and were good, God would permit us to be pirates. And, uh... All right. Okay, so I'm the main, the main deal. Just waiting for something to happen. Those are really small and they blend in a lot with the background. That's incredible. they blend in so much with the background. Can't shoot that spinning meteor. Okay, I don't have to hold click, thank god. Go away, fat man. Oh man, this is not annoying at all. My cannon is dead. Can't do anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't want to let me watch my ship get destroyed. <laughs> Just your ship got destroyed. Yeah, let's give it another shot. Uh, this one... I think if they made some UI and art direction changes, could actually be decent fun. Like, I mean, it is decent fun. Just, it's not very pleasing to the eyes. Like, I can't even see the lasers that my lasers are shooting out. Got him. Oh, they destroyed one of my lasers. Sweet. They destroyed both my lasers. I hope I get those back later. Hopefully that's not just like a one-time thing that I have. But it probably is a one-time thing that I have. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, all right. Yeah, 
how we win. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for me for today. That was the first episode of Clearing the Vault. We're now down to 713 games installed. And that means that we managed to get rid of six games today. We've got another 40 to go in this bundle. I'll see you guys next time on Clearing the Vault.